Hi, this is Anthea and this is a weekly oracle card reading for you for the week starting the 23rd of April, which is Monday, and going through until the 29th of April, which is heading on to May already. Today I'm going to use the Archangel Michael oracle cards and as you'll see on the deck of cards I've got a clear quartz crystal and it's great to store your cards with a crystal on top of them to keep them safe and protected. With your crystal make sure that it is cleared of any negative energy and you can do this just by placing an intention to clear the crystal of energy or you can also put it out in the sunlight or put it into salty water. It's up to you, whatever feels right for you. Okay, so we'll remove our quartz crystal now and start our reading. So we'll take the deck and start shuffling. You can't make any mistakes. You just keep shuffling until you're guided to stop by the angels. And then you select the cards from the top of the deck or from throughout the deck. You can also do readings with double decks of cards. For example, with these Archangel Michael Oracle cards, you could do a reading with two decks combined. Okay, so that feels pretty good. Now we'll select a card for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. I'm conducting this reading a little bit early because I will be away on the weekend. So I'm posting it today, which is Thursday, but the reading is still relevant for next weekend. Next week, I should say. Okay, so the first message from our Archangel Michael Oracle cards is... Keep your eyes on your in, on your targeted intention. And the picture we've got here is of a beautiful young Archangel Michael with a gorgeous royal purple cape. And this is his halo colour, royal purple. So if you visualise royal purple surrounding you, that means Archangel Michael is protecting you and healing you. And with the picture we've got a bow and arrow. So Michael is focusing his bow and arrow on his target and there is gorgeous um, purple and blue and sort of apricot and white coloured plumage in his wings. The prayer here is thank you Archangel Michael for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. So this card is about the law of attraction. It's about thinking positively. It's about knowing what your desires and your dreams are. And you can do this by doing inner work, meditation, through meditation, through um, sitting quietly. You can also sit quietly with a journal so a, a piece of paper or a blank computer screen and you can ask Archangel Michael questions and then just listen quietly and you will receive the responses from Arch Arch Archangel Michael. What you can also do is you can ask him questions just before you go to sleep and he will come to you in your dreams and give you the answers. You may not remember those answers, but they will be uh, they will be safely kept in your subconscious, ready for you to access. So this is at the beginning of the week. It's really about focusing on what it is that we want, our inner visions and intentions, our dreams, our desires. Okay, big week. The message for us is it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. So with this angel we've got in the angel's right hand there is a sword and in the angel's left hand there is a torch. 
like an Olympic torch which is has a flame coming from it. The angel's wings are blue, a shade of different shades of blue. It looks like there's a planet behind the angel. Um, the angel's wearing a beautiful gold headdress with jewels and also wings coming from it. And the robes that the angel is wearing are gold and light blue coloured. And the light rays that are shining behind this picture are all different shades. We've got pink and apricot and gold and blue, all beautiful gentle colours. The prayer here is, Archangel Michael, what part of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So as I tune into this card, this card is about moving on from a situation that is no longer healthy. It's a situation that needs to be released, you need to detach from it in order to move on, on your spiritual path. If you need guidance, again, um, this card is very, very closely linked to the, the first card about keeping our eyes on our targeted intention. So you can ask Archangel Michael for guidance and you can do this before you go to sleep by writing questions on a piece of paper or on your computer screen. Whatever feels right for you is okay. And listen to the answers Archangel Michael gives you. Archangel Michael also really helps us to be courageous and he's very protective. So we can ask him for courage and protection while we are make it, making steps forward and moving away from this unhealthy situation. Okay, before we move on, I'd just like to spend a moment and really infuse our auras and our beings with Archangel Michael's halo colours, which are not only royal purple, but also royal blue and gold. So just take a moment, and just take a moment now, I'm breathing in and out very deeply. just quietening our minds even more than they are already quietened breathing in and out and just visualizing beautiful royal purple light coming in through our crown chakras and infusing our entire beings with beautiful protective glowing healing courageous light that is helping us helping us to be the people that we are meant to be in this lifetime guiding us towards our life purpose I'd also like to, you to visualize royal, per, royal blue light I should say surrounding your body and infusing your entire being as well as beautiful gold holy gold light, holy sacred gold light fusing your entire being and your aura and so it is and our third message for this week's reading for the weekend is innocence so here we've got a picture of a characterization of Archangel Michael with beautiful pale blue wings and in his hands he's, he's got a beautiful strong physique with lots of muscles and in his hands he's holding a tiny little puppy and he's looking down and smiling at the puppy and there's clouds in the sky behind him and with the reading we have dear the reading I should say the prayer dear God and angels Thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. So this card, as I tune into it, again, it's about connecting with our inner selves, our higher selves, realizing that we are truly loved by God and the angels, 
and allowing ourselves to love ourselves as much as God and the angels do. Self-love is so important. It is so, so important. It's, it's hard. It's, it's challenging. But it's really important that you look yourself in the mirror and just can say to yourself, I love you and really mean it. So this is about embracing our innocence, feeling peace and self-love. Yeah. Okay, a beautiful, beautiful, gentle reading, but powerful as well. So just recapping, the beginning of the week, it is about getting in touch with our inner visions, intentions, our dreams and desires so that we can focus on them and put out into the universe what it is we want. And we can do this through affirmations, um, also vision boards and prayer. Okay, the midweek, it's time to move on. It's actually time to act on the answers that we receive from Archangel Michael about parts of our life that we need to focus on and move away from by making healthy changes. And yet at the weekend, we need to be reflective and realize that the pure love and light that God and the angels see within us are real qualities and they're qualities that we need to love in ourselves as well. Okay, so I wish you a wonderful week. I will be with you in spirit and I send you lots and lots of love from my heart to yours. Until next time, until next reading, namaste.